I'm going to do a quick video on how to use paint stripper to remove paint stains from concrete. So right now we're in the process of painting our warehouse floor and I've got several paint stains on the ground that I need to get off. So I'm going to focus on three areas for this video. I've got a stain to my left over here that's red and black. I got a stain on the ground to my right with blue paint on the concrete floor and then over my left shoulder I got a particularly thick paint stain on the ground that I need to get off. Applying the paint stripper is easy. Simply pour it onto the paint and then using a paintbrush, spread it around to cover the entire area that you wish to remove. After applying it, cover the area of plastic. You need to wait anywhere from 30 minutes to 24 hours. How long you wait is really dependent upon how large the area you're trying to remove and how thick it is. I prefer to just wait the full 24 hours as I see the best results upon removal of doing this. When you're ready to remove the paint, peel back the plastic and use a metal scraper to help peel up the paint. Thicker areas will take more work and you'll have to slowly work the scraper underneath the paint. But when it comes up, I tend to find that it will remove all paint from the concrete in the process. Areas with thinner coats of paint are usually more difficult to remove using simply the scraper. So typically after I scrape the top layer off, any residue that remains is usually below the surface level of concrete. So then I get the pressure washer out and I'll blast it off using my heaviest setting on the pressure washer. You still want to use the paint stripper to start with because it helps loosen up all that paint and it will make it much easier and faster to remove when you have to use the pressure washer. Areas with thicker layers of paint might take multiple attempts to remove it all. Scrape off what you can the first time and then repeat the process as necessary until you get all the paint off of the ground. Pressure washing between each round can help to remove more layers each time. I ended up coming back and touching up a few areas with additional paint stripper. I had one or two spots that were set in the concrete and did not come up, but they didn't prevent me from painting over them in the end. With the paint stripping process complete, we were able to move on to painting the garage walkway. Click on the car to watch the entire walkway's transformation. 